of quorum for parliament for purpose of conducting business. We cannot see any material difference in the provisions of Article 104. But for their purposes, they have said that interpret 102 differently and separately from Article 104. They ought to know that Article 102, even the side notes, marginal note, says quorum of parliament. The judiciary of Ghana is also failing Ghana's parliamentary democracy in their inability to appreciate the true meaning of Article 110 of the Constitution that Parliament shall, by standing orders, regulate its own proceedings. When we regulate our own proceedings, and today reference is only made to the 1992 Constitution and not to the standing orders of the Parliament of Ghana, and in particular, Standing Order 13. Today, as we speak, the Speaker is indisposed. There is a presiding person in the first Deputy Speaker. So, for your purposes, can you imagine what will happen in Parliament? While the first deputy is presiding, there is no second deputy speaker available who will preside to supervise him voting for our purposes. Repugnant and unreasonable decision. He is presiding. So where he is presiding, and the second deputy speaker for some purposes is not immediately available in the chamber, he will walk down, vote. At that time, there will be no person presiding over the Parliament of Ghana. This is a judicial support for President Nanahadu Dankwa's e levy that he is laboring to pass. We remain opposed to it, stitch by stitch, clause by clause, article by article. When it is presented, we will fight back strongly with our yeah. one yeah. seven vote. From today, from today, maybe there will be a new definition of who a first or a second deputy speaker is. Maybe, maybe they don't deserve as according them the offices they occupy. Maybe that is what the Supreme Court is ruling. We will just recognize them as MP for Formina and MP for Bekwai. Nothing more. I thank you. Yeah. Yeah.